Hello, my name is Nikki and I am here tonight to introduce you to an internet tool called SurveyMonkey. To begin, you need to go to www.surveymonkey.com. Now we are here at the SurveyMonkey homepage. To start off, you need to go over to the left hand side of the screen and click on the Join Now for Free button. To create an account, you need to pick a username. Choose a password and use a working email so that they can send you email announcements. Now down here you can choose your time zone and I happen to be in central time so I will choose that one. And when you are finished you can hit the create a new account button. Now that you are here, this is your home page. Now you can see up in the left hand corner here it says view all surveys. However, we are new members so we don't really have any surveys to view. To create our first survey, go up here and hit the create survey button. Now you want to create a new survey from scratch since we have a free account. This is the only option that we can do. Down here you'll want to choose a title and tonight I think I will do my survey about food and hit create survey. Now we are on the survey creation page. The first thing you can do is change all the different colors that you'd like your survey. As you can see there's many different ones. I think orange zest sounds pretty good for tonight since we are doing food. Now if you go down here to the middle you can add a question. Now as you can see there are many different types of questions you can add here. I think I will add multiple choice only one answer. So once you do that I can ask a question. Um, how about which kind of milk is your favorite? So down here on my answer choices I could put skim. Then I need to hit enter so it's on a different line. I could put 2% and chocolate. And just for fun let's use strawberry. Now when I'm finished I can go down here and hit save changes and you can see right here is our question and they can mark just one answer. Now one other example of a question that you could do is you could use a text box. So here if I wanted a single text box I could ask the question what is your favorite comfort food? Now if I go down here I can hit save changes and here is our question and in here they can type their favorite comfort food. So you can keep doing that using many different questions to create your survey and then you can distribute it to many other people. Now there are some a few other things that you can learn here as in collecting responses and analyzing results. However you will have to look for my future YouTube videos to learn how to do these tasks. Thank you.